Family members of the victim of a home invasion and murder in Osceola County tell West they are frustrated after yet another delay in the case this afternoon. Four people are accused in the murder of Eric Rupnarine, who was shot and killed in July of 2013. But the victim's loved ones say motions from defense lawyers asking for more time in the case are prolonging a painful wait for justice. West Two's Gail Pascal Brown spoke with Rupnarine's family today after an expected sentencing for one defendant was put on hold. Eric Rupnarine's grandfather left the courtroom today in tears. One justice for my grandson. You have my only grandson. <laughs> tears my heart to see what they his grandson was robbed, shot, and stabbed on July 4th of last year. Four people have been charged with his death. Today, attorneys for two of them, Conrad Schaefer, who was just 15 years old at the time, and Victoria Rios, said they needed more time to question witnesses, take depositions, and ongoing evidence. We would be asking the court to set another status in December so we could reevaluate where we are with respect to the discovery in this case. Let's go ahead and set the case for a hearing on December the. Well, the victim's family says the case is taking too long. What they did to my grandson is not right. They brutally murdered him, and I'm asking for the death sentence. I'm by half, all four of them must have the death sentence or sentence to prison without parole. They must not come back. The judge also postponed the sentencing for Juan Sebastian Muriel for February 27, 2015, until after Rios and Schaefer's trial. Under a plea arrangement, Muriel is supposed to testify against Schaefer. You know, we came here to see uh, that um, something will go further, but it seems like it's going backward. It's delayed, 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 too much. They are delaying and delaying and delaying. Why? I mean, that's a murder. My grandson have no way to run. Three against one. He don't have anywhere to hide. He begged and begged for his life, and yet they have that mind to shut him to death and use a knife on him. That's brutality. To recap, the next time the attorneys will be back in court is December 12th to see where they are in the case. A pretrial hearing is set for January 27th of next year. The trial is set for February 9th. I'm Gail Pascal Brown in Osceola County for West 2 News.